Hi there. I wanted to come to you guys live today and talk about something that is really um, common and really, really um, exciting for me because I've just come off the phone with an incredible client who has just shared with me some super huge news that she has just quit her job. Oh my gosh, um, just as I was getting, um, you know, getting ready to do this live. So I was, um, you know, so, so pumped with her and it was such amazing timing um, for this Facebook Live. So um, the topic that I wanted to share with you guys today is how to overcome feelings of fear feelings of getting stuck and that feeling of being overwhelmed because this is something that I um, discuss with people on a daily basis with all of my clients, with the girls in my mastermind group, um, with people that are in my program and it's something that we all deal with, right? Fear. So what is fear? Fear is basically that little voice um, in our head or that little gut feeling that we have when we're doing something that we've never done before. And what it is, is it's actually a very primitive thing that's built in our bodies, that's built in our systems, that is there to kind of help us, to kind of protect us from doing things that we've never done before. It's primitive in that it's something that all human beings have, it's something that we've had since we were born, something that our ancestors have had and something that dates back all the way to, um, you know, when we were hunters and gatherers. Now, when we were hunters and gatherers, obviously, if we saw, saw something that, um, you know, was, if it was new, if it was an experience that we'd never had before, if it was, you know, um, say we like ran into like a lion or a tiger or something like that and, and you're a hunter, fear will kick in, right? And say, run away, this is dangerous, this isn't good. And that's kind of what fear is. Fear does. It, it protects us and it's kind of built in there as a primitive thing to protect us from danger. But unfortunately, um, you know, what we sometimes don't realize is that we don't need to constantly be in a state of fear. Fear is primitive um, and it also stops us from being able to achieve and able to reach the things that we want to achieve. So if you are wanting to start up a new business, for instance, or if you are thinking about doing something that is going to change your life, um, a perfect example was when my amazing client just literally, literally, I just got off the phone to her and she said to me that today she woke up and she knew, she realized um, that today was the day that she was going to quit her job. Now, this is something that she's been wanting to do for a while and if she's not tuning in, that's fine. I'm probably, um, you know, going to speak to her a bit later on and um, get her to jump on this video. But, um, you know, for privacy and things like that, I'm not going to mention who it is. But, you know, it was amazing to hear that this person, this amazing client of mine, um, literally decided that today was the day that she was going to say yes fully to herself, commit to her dreams, commit to her vision, and go all in with her new business, with something that she has been working on, that she's been thinking about and considering doing full time. Um, but what has really held her back is just mindset and fear. And obviously, you know, a couple of minor circumstances, which is never really the true reason. If you think about every time you've made a big decision, and if you think about every time you've made a decision to go all in with something, whether it's to join a course, whether it's to um, you know, create a startup, whether it's to buy a house, whether it's even if it's to, you know, buy your, um, you know, your next handbag or car or whatever, you know, there is always that initial fear of, oh my gosh, is this worth it? Oh my goodness, like, what am I doing? You know, and it's something that you've never done before, so it's normal. But when we get out of that fear state, we actually go into that empowered state. And that empowered state then, you know, and once we've made that decision, that empowered state 
then kicks in and that's when we realize wow that was amazing wow I, sh I, I can do this I could have done this a long time ago and that is when you kind of overcome you know that fear state and get into a state of being really super empowered by the fact that you've now said yes to something that actually in actual fact you knew was right all along now a secret that I wanted to share with you guys, a secret that um, I think would be really helpful to be able to help you to get into that state quickly and more quickly than um, how you normally would because what happens with a lot of people is how a lot of people do things is they actually, um, you know, think about it and overthink about it and analyze it and continuously just analyze all of the facts and all of the figures and the pros and the cons and writing lists and doing all these different things to kind of try and make themselves feel comfortable with making these big decisions. But what you got to realize is that sometimes it is never really going to feel right. And if you're, um, you know, if you, if you are one of those people that rely on gut feelings and you trust your gut more than, um, you'd rather, um, you know, like sit down and like work out the numbers and work out, you know, circumstances and things like that. If you are one of those people, then just realize that it, the feeling may never go away. That fear may not go away. But the moment you say yes is actually the moment where you are backing yourself. And that is when, the moment you say yes, that is when you will actually be able to f go get into that empowered state. And how you do one thing is how you do everything. So this actually applies in many areas. And that's not just making these big decisions. Like even if it's like, you know, an indecisive moment throughout the day, you got to realize that it just it's just a matter of taking action and breaking through that thinking left and back and forth, that thinking, overthinking, overanalyzing, and just knowing that, you know, if you can back yourself, if you've got that passion and the desire to do something, um, you know, you will get there. And what I was going to say was that, you know, when when you get into that feeling of I have no idea what's going to happen and most of the time it is going to be unpredictable when you're making big big decisions like let's just say leaving a job or um, you know buying a house or things like that you've got no idea what's going to happen with you know what's going to happen next you can't predict the market or you can't predict you know your shares for instance the ones that you purchase on you know Forex exchange or things like that like there sometimes it does take a little bit of risk but you just got to know that at the end of the day like the worst case scenario you if you can handle the worst case scenario and if you can handle the fact that it's going to take hard work like if this is something that you can control and it's not um you know a, like let's not go down the path of talking about shares here but if you uh, thinking about changing a job, for instance, and this is something and that you can control. Know that and understand that if you want to do this, if you can see yourself doing this, and this is something that grounds you, that you know is something that you're passionate about, that um, and you feel a deeper why and calling to it, your deep why um, leads you to it. Then follow your heart and understand and trust that your gut knows exactly um, what it is that you need to do and that needs to be done. So. Whenever you go into a state of overwhelm, just remember, like, trust your gut, um, you know, just get stuff done, create a list, have a plan, write it out, talk to a friend, get a coach, get a mentor, make sure that you are always getting support and accountability wherever you can because, um, you know, you just don't want to be doing things alone. Doing It's hard to do these things alone. If you are, especially if it's a startup, you know, and, and this is what this page is all about. The Thrive and Shine Business Mastermind is targeted mainly at women in business who are in startups and things like that um, or um, wanting to kickstart their own business and just realize that like the worst thing that you could do starting out in business and the one thing that I made the mistake of doing is trying to do it on your own. It never works, you know, because there is so much, there is so much 
um, you know, so many factors, so many variables and understand as well that like support, there's so much support out there. There's so much information out there, you know, and it's not about gathering information now. It's about, okay, you've got all this information. It's now about implementing and being able to step out of that comfort zone and just take action and back yourself and believe in yourself. So I hope you guys found this valuable and useful. And I'm, you know, so pumped to be able to share this with you guys and share with you guys, um, you know, this um, state that I think you should all be able to tap into, you know, this empowered state rather than the state of feeling fear. And, um, you know, when you feel that empowerment, you will be able to make that step and in, into taking action with the things that scare you, but the ones that you know are right. So follow your heart, live your dreams and have an amazing day. Thanks so much for tuning in.